folks. How you doing? Russell Troop Results 303.com. Check out the website. Link in the description box. Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Once again, get your free downloads, setting goals, fitness, and nutrition. Follow my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there as well. iTunes, SoundCloud should be on any major podcast player. Coming at you today with a video on why do you need a two-hour workout? And if you would have asked me before, I would have said, you don't need a two-hour workout. There's no reason. But now that I'm starting to slowly get into these because I'm doing a half Ironman, and that's going to be probably a minimum of six to eight hours, if not more. Uh, and now I'm, I'm starting to watch a lot of endurance videos, like a lot of these crazy ultra marathons, ultra runner, Ironman type things. And I'm starting to see the benefit of these workouts. Why you should need an hour and a half, a two hour workout. And there's going to be some guidelines when it, when it comes to this, right? Uh, in my opinion, it should be something that you're doing outside. Just because the majority of the time we're not outside anyways, right? We're in the gym. We're cooped up. Uh, so this could even be just a two hour hike. Right? A two-hour walk outside. It doesn't have to be running, lifting weights, nothing like that. But it needs to be minimum, I would say, of two hours, if an hour and a half, two hours minimum. And the reason why is just I've always said this. And, oh, and, and the second guideline is no music, no nothing. You need to be with yourself. And for those of you who are spiritual people, uh, once again, there's also spiritual aspects in my YouTube channel, mainly Catholicism, Christianity, uh, but I don't try to discriminate from other beliefs. If I see it's something valuable, I'll bring it in, but I usually have a Christian twist to it. Uh, but once again, I think that's the beauty of it. You're outside in nature, which we never are anymore. If you have an office job, you sit in your car, all these things, we're never outside. So it needs to be outside, and you need no music because you need to be with yourself. Your own thoughts, right? That's the beauty of these two-hour workouts. That's why you don't want to be in the gym where there's already music playing. You don't want to be at a park where there's probably a party going on if it's the summertime. Uh, I, I would prefer you to be running or cycling or something like that. Like I said, again, it's just because right now I myself am in a, doing training for an Ironman. I mean, that's the beauty, to be with yourself. Be in silence, be in nature, be outside, and really focus on that. And I think the best thing is as well, and I've brought up before in other videos, is when you start exercising for these longer periods of time, the body will start to break down in fatigue, right? So now you can kind of eliminate that factor, and you've kind of, it's that same concept and that same thought of, Make your body your slave. Don't become a slave to your body, right? Make your mind your slave. Don't be a slave to your mind, right? You eat to live. You don't live to eat. And this is that same concept that you need to do this to get that mental toughness, to be alone with yourself, especially in today's world where people can't be alone with themselves, right? You can't sit in silence for more than 10 for more than 10 minutes because it is uncomfortable you start to have those thoughts right so i think the 2 hour workout is valuable as long as you're outside in nature there's no music and no talking right and you're just out there with yourself you you're putting your body to the test you're testing your body your limits physically and then of course once you start to Break down is a horrible word, but once you start to fatigue, now it's that mental game, right? You get to talk to yourself. You get to uh, understand your beliefs, your disbeliefs, your shortfalls, how you can become a better person. And you just eliminate all that outside interference and you, you get to truly be with yourself. So that's why I think everybody should be doing at least once a week, I would, uh, minimum once a month. If you can, once a week, if not, try to do it every two weeks, every three weeks. Try to get it in as, you know, as often as possible. Uh, but you don't definitely don't need to be doing it every day. But I think it would definitely have mental benefit, spiritual benefit. 
and in my opinion still health benefits so there you have it two hour workout start to do it start to get out there run walk do something no music by yourself and you can run with somebody but once again there's no talking and if you're running at a pace don't slow down to their pace speed up and do your own pace and get out there push yourself so there you go hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to follow on social media facebook twitter google plus the podcast is out there links down below check out the website if you want that links down there as well subscribe to this channel share and like these videos